Did you know nearly 70% of fuel problems riders chase are actually caused by ignition coil problems that can cut your engine in half if left unchecked? But what is a motorcycle ignition coil? Today, I'm going to share nine symptoms of a bad ignition coil. So what's an ignition coil? It's an electrical transformer that takes the 12 volts from your bike and turns it into a spark strong enough to ignite fuel. Without it, nothing burns. Whether your bike is carbureted or fuel injected, single cylinder or inline four, doesn't matter. This part is universal and most are mounted close to the plugs for shortest spark travel. Now let's break Break down the nine warning signs your ignition coil is failing before expensive misfires wreck your ride. Symptom nine, rough idle and random hiccups. At idle, the bike feels unsettled. You may notice the tack needle twitching, the handlebars buzzing more than usual, and an occasional hiccup in the exhaust note. Instead of that steady thump thump rhythm, it becomes uneven, like a drummer missing a beat. It may smooth out at higher revs, but at idle, it just doesn't feel right. This happens because a weak coil winds can't hold spark steady at low RPM, so the combustion pulse gets uneven. The spark doesn't always jump, and the cylinder misses once in a while. Riders often think the carb or injector is dirty, but if cleaning the fuel system doesn't fix it, the ignition coil is the next suspect. You can check this by warming the bike and unplugging one coil connector at a time with insulated pliers. The weak cylinder will cause the smallest RPM drop. Sometimes, you'll even find the engine sounds the same with one coil unplugged. That's a dead giveaway. I once watched a rider at a stoplight staring at his tach, confused as the needle bounced up and down, even though his hand wasn't moving. The bike shook like it had a heartbeat problem. He swore it was bad gas, but a weak coil was the real reason the idle felt like a drummer skipping beats. If ignored, vibration from the uneven idle can loosen hardware, crack fairing mounts, and foul plugs early. New plugs are about $8 to $20, while a replacement coil runs $50 to $200, depending on type. Ignore this stage, and your bike won't just shake, it'll start fighting you before it even turns on. The next symptom? It'll make every cold morning feel like a dead battery waiting to happen. Symptom 8. Hard cold starts. A cold engine demands more fuel and a stronger spark. A coil that's just barely hanging on will often fail here. You hit the starter, the bike cranks, maybe coughs, then dies. After a few tries, it finally stays running, but it's shaky until it warms. Why? Cold air is dense, and cold fuel doesn't vaporize as well. It takes a strong spark to ignite that rich, heavy mixture. A coil on the edge just doesn't have enough voltage reserve. Riders often replace batteries and starters chasing this symptom when it's actually weak spark. A quick test is to pull a spark plug, ground it, and crank. A strong coil produces a crisp blue-white spark that can jump 6 to 8 millimeters. A weak one shows a faint orange spark that barely crosses the gap. Another sign is fuel smell after repeated cranking, raw fuel that didn't ignite. Prolonged cranking stresses the starter, which could be around $120 to $300, and it drains the battery too, making you pay another $60 to $150. And let me tell you about a friend of mine who kept cranking his bike every cold morning, thinking the battery was the problem. He even bought a new one too. A week later, riding down a hill, his exhaust sounded like firecrackers, and that explosive sound, it's about to turn heads for all the wrong reasons. Symptom 7, Backfire. When you roll off the throttle from higher RPM, you might hear sharp pops or even bangs from the exhaust. A little burble is normal, but loud backfires point to ignition trouble. The coil is missing sparks, leaving unburned fuel to ignite in the hot pipe. It's a dramatic symptom. You're cruising downhill, close the throttle, and suddenly the bike sounds like fireworks. At night, you might even see flames shooting from the muffler. Besides the noise, it can embarrass you in traffic or even draw unwanted attention. A simple test is to ride up to 4,000 RPM, then close the throttle. If the exhaust bangs repeatedly, it's more than a fueling quirk. Pull the plugs. Dry, sooty tips mean incomplete combustion. If you see that and the noise matches, the coil is suspect. Ignored, this stresses muffler packing and can blow out baffles. Fixing an exhaust ranges from $60 for repacking to $300 for a new can. And if you ignore those backfires, the next symptom will make your bike feel like it's fighting you every time you twist the throttle. Symptom 6. Flat spot. 
rides. You might have seen this happen to someone. Sometimes, while on a group ride, one rider's bike would lunge forward and then hesitate like someone was tugging it back with a rope. They usually blame clogged injectors, but every time they rolled on harder, the engine just coughed. That is a flat stop, and the problem shows when you accelerate. Between 3,000 to 6,000 RPM, the bike stumbles like it's holding back. Roll off slightly, and it smooths. Roll on again, and it falters. It feels like someone is briefly hitting the brakes as you accelerate. This happens because cylinder pressure rises under load. A coil needs to produce much higher voltage to jump the plug gap at this point. A failing coil just can't manage it. Riders often blame fueling, but if the hesitation comes and goes with throttle load, spark is the more likely culprit. Try rolling on in second or third gear from 2,000 RPM to 6,000 RPM. If it stutters, swap coils between cylinders. If the misfire moves, the coil is guilty. A tired coil might also cause jerking at highway speeds, making longer rides uncomfortable. Running with misfires overheats catalytic converters on newer bikes. A replacement cat can cost $200 to $600. At this stage, the bike is still rideable, but if heat keeps stressing the coil, the next issue is being stranded after a quick fuel stop. Now, if you're watching this and thinking that's happened to me, you're not alone. Thousands of riders miss these early warnings and end up paying the price. So hit that subscribe button right now and you never miss a fix that could save you from being stranded. Symptom 5. Hot Restart Fail this one is sneaky. The bike runs fine on a ride, but after stopping for 5 minutes, it won't restart. The starter spins strong, but the engine doesn't fire. You wait 10 minutes, it cools down, and suddenly it starts like nothing happened. That's heat soak. Internal cracks in the coil expand with heat, increasing resistance until spark fails. As it cools, the cracks shrink, and the coil works again. Riders often suspect fuel vapor lock, but if cooling the bike restores spark, the coil is the problem. You can test this by riding 15 to 20 minutes, shutting off for 5 minutes, and trying to restart. If it fails, cooling the coil with airflow or a damp cloth carefully, avoiding the electrics, may bring it back. If that works, the coil is failing hot. This stage is frustrating because the bike is unreliable. It can leave you stranded at a gas station or coffee stop. Starters, which could cost around $120 to $300, suffer from repeated hot cranking and batteries wear down faster. A new coil costs $50 to $200, with labor $30 to $120. If you keep pushing, the failure becomes visible, literally. The next symptom will let you see and hear your coil dying right in front of you. Symptom 4. Ticking and Visible Arcing. In a quiet garage, you might hear a faint tick 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 rising with RPM. At night, you may see small blue sparks snapping from coil boots to engine metal. This is the spark escaping. Instead of firing the plug, it takes a shortcut to ground. This usually happens when insulation cracks or boots carbon track from dirt and moisture. Riders sometimes mistake the ticking for a valve noise, but if it rises with RPM and is irregular, think ignition. An easy test is to mist the coil and boots lightly with water in a dark garage. If sparks jump out, you've found the leak. It's dramatic to watch, but it also means spark energy isn't reaching the cylinder. Left alone, this burns holes in boots and wires. Replacements run $20 to $60 for wires and $10 to $30 for boots, while coils cost $50 to $200. If sparks are escaping outside, they're destroying something critical inside, and the next symptom will show you exactly what's being ruined. Symptom 3. Wet Spark Plugs Pull your plugs and examine them closely. A healthy spark plug has a light tan or gray color on the insulator. If you find one that is black, sooty, or even wet with raw fuel while the others look clean, that cylinder is not burning properly. Sometimes you can smell the difference too, with a sharp gasoline odor clinging to the wet plug. This is often when riders suspect fueling issues, but if one plug looks much different, especially with carbon buildup, the coil is suspect. The plug becomes the diary of the combustion chamber, showing weak spark over time. Sooty plugs reduce fuel economy and throttle response. Wet plugs can even shore themselves, making the cylinder useless until replaced. New plugs are cheap at $8 to $20 each, but ignoring them can let raw fuel wash oil off the cylinder walls, leading to premature engine wear. Fouled plugs are the evidence, but the next symptom will give you the hard proof your coil is on its last breath. Symptom 2. Out-of-spec coil resistance. 
I once helped a rider who swore his bike had no electrical problems because the coil tested fine. He only measured it cold in the garage. Out on the road though, the bike would stumble every time it got hot. When we tested the coil again, right after a ride, the numbers were way off the spec sheet, proof that heat was opening the cracks inside. That small shift in resistance was the difference between a smooth cruise and a sputtering mess. Using a multimeter tells the truth. Most bikes expect primary resistance of about 0.2 to 5 ohms and secondary of 3 kiloohms to 20 kiloohms. A coil drifting far outside these values is dying. Turn the key off, unplug the coil, and measure across the terminals. Then, check secondary resistance between the high voltage side and ground. Compare to your service manual. If the readings are off, the coil is weak. If it shows open or infinite resistance, the coil is already gone. Here's the catch. Coils sometimes pass a cold test but fail hot. Heat expands cracks inside, raising resistance until spark output collapses. That's why testing both before and after a ride can reveal the truth. A coil that tests fine cold but drifts way off spec hot is on borrowed time. Once a coil drifts out of range, replacement is the only fix. Coils typically cost $50 to $200 each, and shop labor runs $30 to $120 depending on access. Doing this before total failure prevents you from facing the most frustrating scenario. Symptom 1. Dead Cylinder this is the end game. The bike cranks but never fires, or it runs on fewer cylinders with violent shaking. The coil has completely failed. The windings are either open or shorted, so no voltage ever reaches the plug. An inline spark tester confirms it. Clip it in and crank. If there's no flash, the coil is dead. Swapping coils between cylinders can confirm it. If the dead cylinder comes back to life with a good coil, the original one is toast. At this point, you're stranded. A tow runs $75 to $150 and the fix requires replacement. Pencil coils cost $50 to $200. Coil packs $80 to $250 plus labor. Add in new plugs and boots to ensure a clean start. Once replaced, the bike transforms. Steady idle returns, cold starts are easy, pops disappear, acceleration is smooth, and hot restarts are no issue. The difference is dramatic. Now that we've covered all the symptoms, you know how to test and fix them before they leave you stranded. Drop a like and comment down below if one of these has ever happened to you. Let's keep each other from getting stuck on the side of the road. But there's one more thing you need to know that can save you thousands, the symptoms of a bad motorcycle spark plug. Subscribe so you never miss a fix that could save your ride, and I'll see you in the next one.